Pilates Show, where we explore creative and innovative tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. I'm your host, Anne Mati, and today we're going to talk about side-lying variations with the jump board. So I have the jump board. On um, this balanced body reformer, I have a red spring and a blue spring. So it's not a very heavy weight, but there, it, there's a little chewiness. There's something to reach into. We're going to do side-lying variations with this jump board, and this is a great, these variations are great for runners because it forces um, stability in the pelvis, which is what we want when we run. And also, you'll see when I get down, we'll be kind of running on our sides. So this is great for alignment of the legs, strengthening the hip, pelvic stability. So I'm going to lay down, and I'm going to have this yoga block handy just for a measure, a mark out, and you'll see. So I'll lay down on my side. And just like with side lying work on, a, on the mat, you want to line your back up with the back of the bed, and you can rest your head down. You could put a pillow if someone needed for their neck. I'm going to look down at my feet and make sure they're parallel next to each other. And I can put a yoga block just to sort of test out. That's about, see my knees are about the same height as my hip. So that's a good test for people. Bending the knees, so come in. And I'm going to take the block out, but I'm going to keep that alignment. So I'll just rest my um, shoulders are stacked, my hips are stacked. And then I'm going to tuck that bottom foot out of the way and press. So I'll just go back and forth a few times. You want to make sure your client has some really good stability, a little bit of space under their waist here. Everything you know from side lying leg kicks. And then we can start some little jumps here. So after not too many, your client's hip will probably get a little bit tired. Primary here is wide sitting bones, right? So your leg is really moving from a good solid place in your hip, drawing the belly in, keeping yourself organized, and then come in. You do a bunch of those. You want them to get pretty tired. Then you're going to put the bottom foot on, tuck the top leg out of the way, but you have to keep it at the same height, and you're going to jump with your bottom leg. Right? So it's the same exact thing, but you're going to feel more inner thigh on this one. The client can always lift their heads and sort of look at where their foot's landing. You want to land nice and softly, toe ball heel, really quiet carriage. Right? Then after you do a bunch of those, you'll come in, reset. Okay? Then from here, we're going to jog in place. So you're going to tuck your bottom leg out of the way. You're going to push out and land. Push out and land. So here, the hand on the hip is really helpful for a client to feel that stability, right? And so you want to just be super solid in your center body, really, really quiet. Lots of good alignment here for them to go back and forth. Then you'll just go ahead and transition to jumping with both legs, right? And they can always look down. You want to have that same exact alignment. Don't let the bottom leg drop, right? And so their outside of their leg is going to start to get pretty tired, but you want to keep pulling into the belly, right? Reaching into the toes, nice quiet landing. Cue them every once in a while to relax the head, neck, and jaw, keeping the shoulders stacked. And their legs will get pretty tired. It's really good for the glute med, all this outside hip stuff, and good alignment. That's it for today. If you have any observations or questions you'd like answered on an upcoming episode, comment below or on Facebook, our forum, or Twitter. See you next time and never stop learning.